Inside every F-35 flies 25 million lines of code, software that controls weapons, navigation, stealth systems. America guards this code like nuclear secrets. No foreign country can touch it, except one, Israel. And what they did with that access changed everything. They built software the Pentagon can't see, created capabilities even American F-35s don't have, and turned a joint strike fighter into something entirely different. The results? Israeli jets flying deeper, hitting harder, and returning home when others wouldn't. Today, we're breaking open the story America's defense industry doesn't want told. Let's start with something that shocked the defense world. December 2016, Israel receives its first F-35s. Standard procedure says these jets go straight into service, but Israel does something unprecedented. They park them. For months, Israeli engineers tear into the aircraft, installing their own systems, building custom software, creating what they call an overlay that sits on top of American code. When those jets finally take flight, they're carrying technology Lockheed Martin never designed and the Pentagon never approved. Type yes in the comments if you already know where this is going. Let's see who's been paying attention to what Israel really did with these fighters. Here's what makes this absolutely extraordinary. The F-35 program operates under ironclad rules. Lockheed Martin controls everything. Every line of code, every software update, every maintenance procedure. Want to modify your F-35? You need permission from Fort Worth, Texas. Need repairs beyond basic maintenance? Ship your jet back to America. That's the deal for every F-35 customer in the world. Britain, Australia, Japan, Norway, all of them play by those rules, except Israel. They negotiated something completely different, and it's driving American defense contractors crazy. Let's talk about what Israel actually got. First, complete domestic maintenance capability. Israel built their own F-35 repair facility at Novatim Air Base. Full depot level overhaul capability. They can tear these jets down to the frame and rebuild them without Lockheed technicians present. No other country has this. Britain sends their F-35s to America for major work. So does everyone else. But Israel fixes theirs at home. Think about what that means during wartime. While other countries wait weeks for repairs, Israeli jets get fixed overnight. But maintenance is just the beginning. The real game changer is software. Israel created what defense analysts call the C4I overlay. Command, control, communications, computers, and intelligence. An entire software system that runs on top of the F-35's American operating system. Israel Aerospace Industries built this. Think of it like an iPhone app, except this app controls weapons, sensors, and communications that connect Israeli F-35s to every other aircraft in their Air Force. F-15s, F-16s, even drones, all talking through Israeli software that sits on top of American code. Now here's what nobody talks about publicly. While the United States maintains strict control over F-35 source code, Israel negotiated access to certain layers of the system. Not everything, but enough. Enough to build interfaces that Lockheed Martin's engineers can't see into. Enough to integrate Israeli weapons without American approval for each missile type. Enough to modify electronic warfare systems to counter threats that don't exist in American operational planning. Russia's S-300 systems deployed around Tehran. Iranian air defenses specifically configured for Middle Eastern threats. Israel needed their F-35s optimized for enemies America doesn't directly face. The electronic warfare suite tells this story perfectly. Every F-35 comes with BAE Systems ANASQ-239, sophisticated equipment designed to counter air defenses worldwide. Israel said, Thanks, but we're replacing it. Elbit Systems built their own electronic warfare package, specifically designed to defeat Russian radars, specifically calibrated for Iranian defense frequencies. The Israeli system plugs into special apertures built into the F-35I's lower fuselage and wing leading edges, physical modifications to the airframe that only Israeli jets have. Nobody else got permission for this. Not Britain, not anyone. Weapons integration shows the same pattern. Standard F-35s carry American missiles, 
AIM-120 AMRAM, AIM-9X Sidewinder, Joint Direct Attack Munitions, good weapons, proven weapons, but Israel wanted their own. Python 5 air-to-air -air missiles with dual wave band infrared seekers. SPICE precision guided munitions with 62 mile standoff range. Specialized one ton bunker busters designed to fit the internal weapons bay. Weapons developed specifically for hitting Iranian nuclear facilities buried deep underground. Israel integrates these through their software overlay. Lockheed provided the interface capability, but Israeli engineers wrote the integration code. The helmet display system is another Israeli innovation that went global. Elbit Systems and Rockwell Collins jointly developed it. Projects all vital flight information directly onto the pilot's visor. Enhanced night vision, liquid crystal displays, automated alignment. But here's the interesting part. Israeli pilots see information formatted for Israeli tactical doctrine. Data presentation optimized for how Israeli commanders fight. The Pentagon liked it so much, they adopted it for all F-35s. Israeli innovation becomes the global standard. Range extension capabilities pushed technological boundaries. Standard F-35As have roughly 700-mile combat radius. Good for most missions, not good enough for Israel. Tehran sits a thousand miles from Israeli airspace. Israel needed round-trip capability without aerial refueling. They developed two solutions. First, 425-gallon external drop tanks, non-stealthy but droppable before entering enemy radar range. The pylons detach too, maintaining stealth once released. Second, conformal fuel tanks under development with Israel Aerospace Industries. These hug the airframe, minimizing radar cross-section impact. With these modifications, Israeli F-35s can reach Iran, strike targets, and return home, all without needing American tanker support or permission to use neighboring country airspace. Our American military continues leading the world in aerospace innovation. The F-35 program represents decades of research and billions in development costs. It's a testament to American engineering excellence, and the partnership with Israel makes both nations stronger. Israeli combat experience provides invaluable data that improves the entire F-35 fleet. American pilots benefit from Israel's lessons learned. Technology flows both ways. The helmet display Israel helped create now protects American pilots. Range extension techniques Israel pioneered are being studied for Pacific operations against China. This partnership showcases how allied democracies sharing technology create capabilities no adversary can match. But let's be honest about something uncomfortable. Israel operates with independence that makes other allies nervous. While American F-35s wait for Pentagon approval to integrate new weapons, Israeli jets are already flying combat missions with indigenous munitions. While U.S. Air Force struggles with 51% mission-capable rates, Israeli F-35Is maintain 90% readiness. While American jets sit grounded waiting for spare parts from Lockheed's supply chain, Israeli maintenance facilities keep their fleet flying. The readiness numbers tell a startling story. American F-35 mission-capable rates dropped from 69% in 2021 to 51% in 2024. That means on any given day, half of America's most advanced fighters can't fly their assigned missions. Israel maintains 35 of their 39 F-35s mission ready. That's 90% consistently, even during intense combat operations. How? Domestic maintenance, indigenous spare parts manufacturing, software autonomy. Israel doesn't wait for Lockheed Martin. They fix problems themselves. Here's something that should concern every American taxpayer. The F-35 program runs on something called ALIAS, Autonomic Logistics Information System. Every F-35 in the world connects to this centralized database. Maintenance records, mission data, threat analysis, everything flows through ALIAS servers in the United States. This creates data sovereignty issues. Foreign countries worry about America accessing their classified mission information. They worry about cyber vulnerabilities. They worry about dependency. Israel worried too, so they built their own system, completely independent. Israeli F-35 data stays in Israel. 
Nobody else got that option. The software architecture reveals Israel's strategic thinking. Standard F-35 software updates come from Lockheed Martin. Months of testing, Pentagon approval, slow process. Israel developed plug-and-play capability. They can insert new software modules rapidly, update electronic warfare libraries when Iran deploys new radars, integrate new weapons as they're developed, all without waiting for American approval cycles. The F-35I's open architecture design allows this. Israel leveraged the system's modularity to create flexibility no other operator enjoys. Think about combat implications. June 2025, Israel launches Operation Rising Lion against Iran. F-35Is lead the strike package. Iranian air defenses include Russian S-300 sophisticated systems. Sophisticated radars, long-range missiles, systems designed to counter stealth aircraft. Israeli F-35s penetrate anyway. Their Elbit electronic warfare suite, specifically calibrated for these exact threats, blinds Iranian radars. Their Python missiles and spice bombs, integrated through Israeli software, destroy targets with precision. Every jet returns home, zero losses. Iranian commanders couldn't track them. Russian defense contractors watched their systems fail spectacularly. Now contrast this with American F-35 operations. American jets have flown thousands of training sorties. They've deployed to bases worldwide. They've conducted exercises but they haven't penetrated sophisticated air defenses in actual combat like Israel has. American F-35s maintain global deterrence. Israeli F-35s execute preemptive strikes. Different mission sets requiring different capabilities, and Israel's software modifications enable mission profiles American jets aren't optimized for. The manufacturing partnership deserves attention. Israel Aerospace Industries builds F-35 wings, Every F-35 in the world flies with some Israeli-manufactured components. Elbit Systems produces helmet displays for the global fleet, billions of dollars in contracts, but it's more than business, it's industrial capability. Israel maintains F-35 production knowledge domestically. They understand how these aircraft are built. That knowledge enables their modification capability. You can't customize what you don't understand. Israel made sure they understood everything. Cybersecurity becomes critical here. The F-35's 25 million lines of code create vulnerability. Every software update is a potential entry point for hackers. Every connection to ALIS is a possible backdoor. China and Russia have tried repeatedly to penetrate F-35 systems. Some attacks succeeded. Lockheed Martin's networks got compromised. Supplier companies got hacked. The interconnected nature of the F-35 program creates enormous attack surface. Israel's independent system reduces this risk for their fleet. Their F-35 data doesn't flow through global networks. Their mission planning doesn't depend on American servers. If ALIS gets compromised, Israeli F-35s keep flying. Future upgrades follow the same pattern. The Pentagon is rolling out Technology Refresh 3 and Block 4 improvements. New computing hardware enhanced radar capabilities, improved weapons integration. Costs are skyrocketing, delays mount. Meanwhile, Israel is independently upgrading their jets with Israeli technology, new electronic warfare capabilities, updated threat libraries, enhanced networking with Israeli intelligence systems. They're not waiting for Block 4, they're building their own capabilities on their own timeline. Let's address something important. This isn't about criticism of American capabilities. U.S. forces remain the most powerful military in history. American F-35s operate under different constraints, global responsibilities, alliance commitments, political considerations. The U.S. Air Force can't customize jets for every regional threat because they face threats everywhere simultaneously. Israel operates in one theater against specific enemies with existential stakes. Their customization makes sense for their unique situation. And ultimately, Israeli innovations improve the entire F-35 program. The technology transfer goes both ways. Israel's combat lessons inform American tactics. Israeli electronic warfare techniques against Russian systems teach American pilots what works. 
Israeli range extension modifications are being studied for Pacific operations, where vast distances challenge refueling capabilities. Israeli maintenance procedures that achieve 90% readiness rates offer solutions for American supply chain problems. The partnership strengthens both militaries. But here's the uncomfortable truth that keeps Pentagon planners awake. If Israel can modify F-35 software, what prevents other countries from demanding similar access? Turkey wanted modifications, America said no. Turkey bought Russian S-400s instead and got kicked out of the F-35 program. India is considering F-35 purchases. They're demanding Israeli-level access, source code rights, maintenance independence, weapons integration freedom. America is saying no. But Israel set the precedent. The genie is out of the bottle. The bottom line is straightforward. Israel transformed America's joint strike fighter into something uniquely Israeli. Software the Pentagon can't access, maintenance capability Lockheed doesn't control, combat-proven modifications that defeat Russian defense systems, all while maintaining the partnership that benefits both nations. American aerospace engineering created the F-35. Israeli innovation maximized its combat effectiveness. Together, these allied democracies field capabilities that adversaries cannot match, and that partnership continues making both nations more secure. If this gave you new insight into how advanced military technology really works, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into defense capabilities that shape our world.